I'm excited today to tell you guys about one of the coolest natural history relationships that uh, one of our plants and one of our groups of insects have. This plant is yucca filamentosa, and you can tell it gets that name because of the filaments that are peeling back on the leaves of the plant. This plant is in the agave family, which yes, is the same family that the plant that produces tequila is in. You can see it has relatively stout leaves that have pointy tips and it grows in sort of a clump that's pretty low, except for the really tall flowering stem. One of the things I always see on these flowers are leaf-footed bugs. So these are insects in the Hemiptera order and they typically are feeding on the plant itself. So I think they must be using their piercing sucking mouth parts to suck out juices from the flower itself. The really cool thing about this plant is the way that it gets pollinated. So there's a few different species of yuccas and they all have this pollination strategy where there is only one group of insects that can pollinate and that is the yucca moth the genus Tegeticula. There's quite a few different types of them. Now what these moths do is they collect the pollen from the flower and actually make a little pollen ball. They stick the pollen to the stigma of the flower pollinating it and then they lay their eggs in the ovary of the flower. So what's happening is the moth is pollinating the flower but then the larvae are feeding on the developing seeds as they grow. They don't feed on all of the seeds so the plant is still able to reproduce but without the moth, the plant wouldn't get pollinated. And without the plant, the caterpillars wouldn't be able to survive. Now the trust has been working on a research project for the last several years. We have been trying to build a list of all of our pollinators found here on the island to be able to show how native plants support the pollinator diversity and how different habitats can be home to all these different species. And our entomologists were here last week. We were out doing some surveys and I just happened to look up inside of one of these flowers and found these teeny little white moths. And of course we got really excited because we thought that they might be the yucca moth. And that's actually the first time that we've recorded this species here on Spring Island. So it was a great addition to our species list. 